Episode. Alrighty. So far, this is real interesting horror. But it's more mystery. Jesus Christ, like, good story, though. This little puzzle, like, how does the pasture and the farm could be working or something like that? Like, something's going on. Hmm. Irving. Finally. I know, I told you to go to hell. I was dying on this chair. You're right. That room freaked me out. So, mm. I looked around the entire hotel, and if there's still a chance of getting to the bottom of the story, then it's gotta be behind the locked door on the last floor, in the attic. That wing has been condemned for years. I know, I'll be careful. Okay. There are too many things that I took for granted. It's as if someone mm. was putting pieces of my past in front of me to show them to me under another light. Who are you talking about, Nikki? Satan! Mm. Maybe it's my father. In my music box, I found the mm. medal I won the night Rachel died. Dad could have put it there, and if he did, there must be a reason. It... it all sounds insane. The night Rachel died. Maybe I have to start from there. I played in that really long hockey game. But what was going on in the meantime? You remember that night, Irving? I think I was at church with my family. Church? That night we had a yeah. mass for the poor here. We held one every year. As usual, Mom volunteered to take me to the game, but she was so busy with the soup kitchen that I was afraid she was going to be late. Mm. I remember while she ran around, she said she ordered me to close the mezzanine. You mean the intermediate floor above the reception? Okay. What's in there? A storeroom. Have you been up there? No, I'd forgotten all about it. I'd better mm. take a look before moving on. Mezzanine, mezzanine, mezzanine. Alrighty, so. God, that thing. I was like, ding, ding. Alright. But the floor above the reception, mezzanine. Ah! Hola! Oh man! <laughs> Why? Get on, get on, get on. Hi. <laughs> okay. Nicholas. So she. Oh no, this might be a revenge thing. Irving? Hello? <clears throat> Hello? Mm. Can you hear me? I'm on the mezzanine, and it's a nightmare. There are mannequins everywhere. They're set up like in a scene. The, the, there's one mm. with a hockey stick. Wait, what the fuck? That's my stick! If you're listening to me, mm. whoever set up this representation, I, I think they want to tell me that Rachel was killed? But why my hockey stick? Hello? Because you killed her. Hello? That's what's happening. Oh God, why isn't he answering? Irving, I swear I'm not kidding. This is a huge deal. If you can hear me, it's time to make that phone call.
Where are you, Nicole? <sighs> it's about time. Why didn't you answer? How many doors have you opened, Nicole? How many are still missing? What doors are you talking about? Keep going. Hello? Hello, Irving. Oh, Maple Princess, you might have been right. That reception. <laughs> Wet boots. Okay. Someone's here. Doing okay. I reckon Ivan is the son. Of the daughter. Okay. So we had someone in the chat earlier, Maple Princess, and I think she's got it right. <laughs> What'd she say? He is 100% not alive. Yeah, I don't think I've, I've lost this. Thanks. This way, wasn't it? No. Way. Oh, oh, I don't know if I can hear him. He might catch me. Moving around. Doors open. Okay. What? The actual... Car engine. Okay, so he's got my car. Pick it out. He's screwed with that. Holy hell. Hello? I imagine you found my room. Okay. What does this mean? That's Sorry? a question I've asked myself many times. What does all this mean, Irving? How far do you want to push yourself? He's How one of the ghost hunters. Take? What? Every memory. Painstakingly gathered, every reconstructed piece, every little element retrieved from the dark. A photo, a hairband, a lipstick. It means remembering, Rachel. That's what all this means. I didn't choose this path. I had to do it. Huh. What did you do, Irving? See Rachel's boyfriend? These walls ooze with memories. The memories get into the walls. Under the floorboards, they creep into the crawl spaces. You're not with FEMA. You, Jenkins, you, you never talked to him. Uh, Your boss, the phone call, all those weird events. You were behind all of them. Someone had to bring the last piece of the memory puzzle here. The most important one. What the? You? Ella? Me? I, I... Your father wanted to keep you out of it. 
I convinced him that only you could resolve the equation, as he called it. I don't understand. He's a ghost How hunter. could you? In the video. Over the last few days, you got a little taste of what it means to dig around in the past. Hunting for memories that scratch away behind every wall in the night. Jesus. I, we, did it for years. Day after day after day. All lies. I have it's nothing true. against lies. I grew up around lies. But now it's time for the truth to come out. Finally. What do you want to do now? I want to tell you a story. There was mm -hmm. an invisible boy. Like everyone, he just wanted to run on the grass, ride a bike, swim in the lake in summer. But his father... Oh, his father had other plans for his soul. Okay. In his dark world made of silence and prayer, there shone only one star. His wonderful sister. A oh. heavenly creature that's been hours telling him fairy tales in secret. Oh no. She who told him what a free and strong Brother. man he would become one day. Rachel? She was like that. Free and strong. At the time, I didn't understand her dyslexia. Oh, no. Or what retard meant. That's what they called her at school. Oh, no. But I could hear her cry at night. I wanted to protect her. But I couldn't. One day, that beautiful, luminous creature met someone. A human being that saw her. For real. My dad. Yes. And I was the invisible witness of what happened. Mm. A love. Simply a love. Nothing more, nothing less. But that love was too much. And it would be punished. Who paid for this love, Nicole? Rachel. Rachel was... Oh, no. Your sister. Now I remember you. You were too caught up with your hatred for Rachel to notice the innocent little kid that sometimes tagged along. Uh. Yes, it's true. I hated her. But I was just a jealous kid. Doesn't matter. Those days are over. How could I have forgotten you? I was raised to be forgotten. Ooh. What do you want from me? The day my sister paid with her life for her love, we all died. Uh, we make the history of the Timberline. It was a tragedy. But you... We all got frozen there. In that very moment. In that... confined horizon of events as you'll understand as you've already begun to understand for the first okay. time in years I depended on someone and this is the result you have to keep going to get to where I wasn't able to go you will be the new witness you owe it to oh, us. Oh, God. And you owe it to her. Oh, Jesus Christ, he's been living in a lovely weather. Ooh, dude.
Direkt da. Ja. A few years have passed since I last used this old tape recorder. Mm. I think you were in elementary school. I imagine a testament should start in a poised manner. My dear Nicole, my favorite daughter, etc., etc. Uh -oh. Poised, weighty, serious, irrevocable. I prefer asking you how you are. How are you, Nikki? You're probably tired. I can imagine. At this point of your journey, the marks and voices of this old hotel will have already whispered all their secrets. Eesh. You've always been good at solving puzzles. In this, you surely resemble more your mother than me. Irving has always been convinced that you, only you, could surmount the fear and suffering that exuded from these hallways. We tried. We waited. We were terrified. We studied. We listened. We listened to her. But all the love in the world wasn't enough to decipher those muted vowels, those wide open eyes, those tears of light. In your time and space, in the here and now, I will no longer be with you. But it doesn't matter, trust me, it doesn't. I have a new theory, Nikki. Mm. Love is and remains. It is in the wood you stand on, in the walls that keep up this hotel. Who are you talking about? In the air about? we breathe. Jesus. And sometimes it hates. It hates those who didn't allow it, those who cast it aside with indifference, and those who can't recognize it. Stars still emanate their light, even after collapsing, right? Mm. There is a lot of light here. There is light. In death, I want to free myself of all this darkness. I can no longer see the stars. I'm tired of surviving in this limbo. So, uh -oh. how are you, Nikki? I'm good. I will be good. Uh -oh. Figure out what Rachel was saying, Nikki. Mm. She's here. Murderer. Creepy dude. Like drawings and everything of her. Inside the car. Alright. Well, I'm feeling I'll be running.
Hello. Leonard was a very special man. His soul was big enough to love both you and Rachel. I knew mm. my father's soul better than anyone. You were just a jealous kid. Don't you dare try to make me feel guilty. You don't... I just want you to get to the truth. So why didn't you tell me about the truth? Tell who? Okay. The Nicole who thought eating beans was the worst tragedy and couldn't wait to finish this business and run away, forgetting everything all over again? You don't know anything about what my mother and I went through. But you're different to when you got here. Now you can discover the truth. A truth that otherwise would have destroyed you. I didn't lie to you. I protected you. Listen, I'm sorry about Rachel. I hated her, and I hated my father, but I never wanted it to end like that. I understand your pain, maybe better than anyone. Betrayal, shame, death. My family was destroyed, mm. just like yours. How much longer does this pain have to last? It'll be over soon. What else is there to know? You want the truth. Well, I can't give it to you. I've already given you everything I could. Now you have to tie the pieces together. What does yeah. that mean? Your father always said we are the sum of the people we take with us. And you abandoned these people. Here, in this place. Enough riddles, Irving. I'm tired. Me, too. You're the only one who can give a finale to this story. It's time you open the last door. Okay. What is in the trunk? Oh, don't tell me it's a body or something. Blanket. Use blanket. Wash it. Wash it. Wash it. Wash it. Wash it. Huh? Lots of semen. Okay. Where the laundry go. The laundry is this way. Yep, this way. Forgotten. Mm -hmm. I. I saw everything. Shit. I was there. All the pieces were in front of my eyes. Oh no. The kid's eyes. It was the same night as the hockey game in Masula. Reverend Foster was so busy with the preparations of the meals for the giving mm. to the poor at the Timberline Church. The mom came? And my mother, Claire said that we would get back from the game in time for the distribution. She convinced my father to help the Reverend, and he'd come with his whole family, you and Rachel. Uh, yeah. I remember it like it was yesterday. I couldn't find my stick. I panicked and I went down to the garage. Claire was there, red in the face. Her look. Her look? It was just a fleeting feeling. Hmm. That's why I erased it from my memory. I had to erase it, understand? What was in her look? It just wasn't her. It was like a, a frightful creature. Hmm. A, a disturbed, dangerous animal. I've never seen her like that before or after. Not even on her deathbed. And then you killed her. She put her hands on her hips, exhausted. She smiled. And there she was again, my mom. 
I thought it must have just been the impression of a moment. I had the finals against Cosprey's high awaiting me. I climbed in the car, throwing my bag into the back seat. My hockey stick was there. Claire said she'd cleaned it. She'd cleaned it. Go on. No. I... I don't... Go on! We... We got there on time and I played. Best game of my life. And the last. Claire was on the bleachers encouraging me and cheering. And then I, I lost know. sight of her. For two whole periods, I think. And later when I asked, she said she'd moved because Marty O'Donagall's father was getting on her nerves. But it wasn't true. Just enough time to go back to the car. Don't say it. Irving, don't say it. Don't say a thing. I... I don't... <laughs> That's fucked up, man. That is messed up. Oof. I traveled all the way with Rachel's body <laughs> and the baby she carried inside of her in the trunk rolled in the blanket. God, oh my God. She killed Rachel. Thank you, Nikki. You've had your revenge. I hope all this gives you the peace you were looking for. I wanted you to help me uncover the truth. Mm. You're saying you didn't know that Claire... I was only a kid. Yeah. He was probably way younger. She never wanted me to get to the bottom of it. Rachel is is here. Uh, uh. You know, I I think she's still protecting me. But I'm grown up now. Now we can all be reunited at last. What? Wait, where are you going? Listen. We can work things out. Uh, what's he doing? What happened is terrible, but all the main players in this story are dead. Get it? Dead. We are still alive. We're alive. Me. You. We, we didn't do anything. That's exactly what we did wrong, Nicole. We didn't do anything. We're just kids. It's beautiful here. Rachel told me about it so many times, but... <laughs> I never thought it was so beautiful. What? Irving, where are you? It's quite as far as the eye can see. Oh no. Beyond the mountains. You... You left the hotel? But... It's too cold, you'll... You'll die out there. Irving, please. I've lived in the dark for years. You freed me. And now I can finally rest in the light. Mm. I can and go back. Shit, 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 shit. Don't go. You, you can't. Okay. Don't leave me too. We have our drink. It's not a goodbye, my tough, oh, yeah, isn't it? pragmatic, stubborn Nikki. We'll meet again in another no, time. I... Oh, no. Beyond this. Horizon of events. Everything is. Irving? Irving? Is that room? I don't want to stay alone here. I. I. Everything seems to be becoming dark. I'm scared. I'm. Is that you? Uh-oh.
There's a few times where I spoke to him and I misclicked. I clicked on the other one, so I kind of told him to... Oh, by accident. Oh, no! <coughs> oh, I'm in the car. Where's my phone? Yes? They call it's me, Jenkins, the attorney. Finally, I can get through. You don't know how many times I tried. I can't hear you. The connection's bad. How are you? I was really worried about the storm. I'm Wait, good. I'm glad. You're sure you Listen, I don't want to sell the hotel anymore. What? Damned interference. I didn't catch you. What do you say? I don't want to sell the hotel anymore. You've been really nice. Your job is done. Uh -oh. Thanks. Oh, oh, I'm well, stuck in it. I see. Well, you're the owner, and you got every right to decide. But maybe we should talk about it in person. I want to understand. This kind of decision... I'm back home. And I have to stay here. Oh, no. Forever. Wait a sec, let's talk. Oh, there's also my team. Oh, get. Fuck. You know, Mom, I was thinking about going to the lake. Remember where we went with Uncle John last year? Oh, Daddy no. Daddy and I started talking uh -huh. about stars. Uh -huh. You can't see them during the day. But they're always there. You feel like it? I would so like it. And we can have dinner at Doc Smith's diner on the bank. Mm -hmm. Rachel and Irving could come with us. What do you think? Right. It would be so nice to be all together. Mom, Dad, it would be so nice. Mm -hmm. Use radio. I can not kill myself. <sighs> Shit. Wait, wait. I did all that you asked me. Stop it, please. Anger shouldn't rule our life. You said that. I'm scared. No. Turn off, damn it. You. I. Don't want to die. It's getting dark. <coughs> I can't see the light. She's possessed. <coughs> Turn off. <laughs> bring back the Timberline to its fortune together. We will be happy again, all together. Yes. <clears throat> like a whole family. No more anger. Just love. Okay, that game was... Woo! Tense. Good bloody story, though. Oof. I want to know if there's a separate ending because it would be interesting to see if you can actually get the guards to survive. Maybe in both escape the hotel so they've been stuck there forever. That is a real good game. I really enjoyed that one. And didn't have like stupid jump scares and all that stuff, but I did like make you feel like there's something there, like the noise cues and everything. It's just ah, oh, loved it. Well. That was the suicide of Rachel Foster.
good indie game type of thing. Probably, you know, three hours max play, but good story. I highly recommend it.